Like, hey, this is Delroy with the r, &R Group. Um, today we're going to talk about building wealth through a single family home. So I just want to kind of talk about actually how purchasing a home is helping you build wealth um, and the amount of money you can or cannot make um, in a property. So I just want to use a really basic example. So this is a house. Let's just say you've purchased your house. You've done the mortgage, you've looked, you've searched, you found the house. Now you've purchased your home. Um, what happens is, this is this is what it looks like when you originally buy your home, okay? Your mortgage is all of this. Okay? There may be there might be a slight gap. This is the we're gonna use the roof as the equity and the house as the mortgage examples, okay? So let's say right now you, you've purchased your house and there may be a tiny bit of equity above here. This is your down payment amount, okay? So we're putting this is this this block here, this white space. That's your down payment. This is your unforeseen equity that you're going to gain from your house. And this is your mortgage, all this green. Until you erase this green area, you aren't a homeowner and that green part owns your house. So this is what happens over time of owning your house, okay? Over time, you've already eliminated this area here. Okay, we'll give it some years. So we'll just say, we'll say one year, two year, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll use it as eight years. Eight years is actually the common time frame of a long-term stay in a house and actually the sweetest spot ever to make money from your property. You can move before that, depend on the market, but nine times out of 10, if you stay in any property for eight years, you're making a lot of money. So what happens is, after year one, year two, year three, year four, what happens is you're, you're paying away. So every month you're paying the mortgage, okay? Obviously, normally you have a 30-year mortgage, so the green area is dense. So this, so this is just an example of how the system of your property, your equity, and your money is working. So every month you're erasing more and more, and as the years go by, of this green area in your house, which is your mortgage. And then what's happening is over time... The real estate market, depending on your market, and right now we're just talking about current conditions. So right now, prices are going up. So even if the market is looking like this, okay, this is the real estate market, and this is how it's moving in an upward direction. Okay, so your house value, if you bought your house here at 300K, and then it goes up to 400K, where is that money? So that money, that money is moving from here and it's coming up in your roof. Okay, so you're gaining, as the years go by, you're gaining this money in your house. Okay, so let's say after eight years, you've been paying your mortgage for eight years, okay? There's still 22 years on your mortgage, okay? So let's, let's put that out here. This is the amount you probably will never pay as your loan, let's just say. So now you've paid off all of this amount that's in here, and now you have money sitting on the roof because the house has gone up in value and you have paid down your mortgage. This is the amount of ownership from here, from this green area all the way down to where you've paid off. Now you have the ownership in the property. So when you sell the house, you're going to get your chunk of ownership back. So let's say you bought it for 300,000. Now after eight years, your house is worth 400,000. You now have $100,000 of equity minus some real estate costs and stuff like that. So let's say actual cash value by the end of it, when you sell your house, you're gonna get $80,000, let's just say. So you're gonna, you're gonna cash out at 80 grand. On the house, let's just say you've made um, a hundred thousand, but also you've been putting money in, so your mortgage amount is gone down. So let's say your mortgage amount now we just use the three hundred thousand, even though there's probably down payment in there. But just so we have even numbers for the example, let's say you did that, but you actually your mortgage amount that you actually got on the property now, instead of it being three hundred thousand, let's say over the eight years you've paid it down to one fifty. 
So now your payoff when you pay the bank back, you only have to pay the bank back $150 left on your mortgage. You've got 80 grand of equity. So at the closing table, you're going to get You're going to walk away with $230,000 cash net after being in your house for eight years. I don't care what rental you're living in or what, what else you're doing. If you can show me in eight years another scenario that is real and feasible, because this is a real and feasible scenario. This happens every day. I work with people and this, this is how we calculate and work on stuff every single day. And I see them at the closing and they get big checks like this, 100, 200 grand cash in their bank account. So if you can see a different way of making this happen, then I would love to hear about it. But real estate is probably the number one way where you're going to see the biggest chunk of money at one time because obviously there are people that earn big chunks of money, but they're getting an individual paycheck. So you can save up and make this amount of money, but why not do both? Why not be able to have your paycheck, earn your money, live in your house, pay down the mortgage, earn the equity, and then when you go to sell your house, get 230 grand instead of paying rent. Oh no, the choice is yours. I would suggest you purchase a home in Denver right now because the prices are going up and they're gonna to continue to go up for another maybe two or three years. So instead of paying rent, purchase a house. This is Delroy with Right Now Real Estate. Let me know if you have any more questions.